Okay, tonight I am going to cover doing a double bunny. You know, in this particular case, we're doing a double bunny for a tarpon fly. Um, this is just for the tail section. Now, one of the advantages of doing the tail section like this is you don't have to put that uh, dreaded mono loop in the back to keep the uh, tail from underwrapping the hook. Um, works really, really well. Now I've got an owner AKI 2 aught hook here, my favorite for doing tarpon flies on. Um, I've got Flymaster Plus, and we've got some Magnum uh, width uh, rabbit sonker strips. And the first thing that we've got to do is remove a little bit of the hair right at the leather where we're going to tie this thing in. If you don't, you know, the knot ends up getting really, really bulky. So, and a little unusual, we're going to start on the bottom. And I'm going to put a couple of loose wraps on this. I'm going to get everything lined up, make sure it's straight and square with the world. Get it all straight. Now I'm going to pull tight with my thread. And I'm going to go ahead and overwrap the rest of the leather. Now, to cut rabbit zonker strip, don't use your damn scissors. You need a razor blade, be it single or double, just make sure it's kind of fresh. Um, to cut this, you cut the leather, you score it, basically, and pull it away. If you use a pair of scissors, chances are you're going to cut that little tip hair, you know, in the back. And it's also going to screw up the next fly, or in this case, our top side. Again, we're going to tie in the top now. I'm going to trim away the hair. And we're going to lay this right down on top of the other one. I'm going to get back in the back. I'm going to lay a, a couple of loose wraps over the top of this. Make sure that everything is square. And then I'm going to pull down tight with my thread. And then I'm going to overwrap the leather. Now it's going to be a little odd, but I'm going to actually whip finish right now may seem unusual, but there's a reason for it here in a minute. Okay, we're cut away. Now, you take the top layer and kind of lay it back over the front of the hook. We've got the back layer laying straight. And we're going to bring in a product called Tear Mender. This is a glue that should be available at your hardware store. If it's not, you can buy it through TearMender.com. Um, whatever you do, don't buy the big bottle. Buy the little bottle because the shelf life on this stuff is only about a year. It turns into a big mess after uh, it sits for any length of time. So don't buy the big bottle. It, it's, it's much better than the small. This stuff is literally liquid latex. And it's really designed for fixing, uh, repairing, uh, like tears in your leather couch, etc., etc. It's a, a great product. Reminds me, it's a little similar to uh, rubber cement uh, that we used as kids. Um, I've got a mandrel. This is a you know just a piece of rod tip that I've got. I'm going to grasp this, and I'm going to dip the tip of this in, in my glue and I'm going to butter it. Now you want to put enough glue on here to make it damp but you don't want puddles of the glue in there because when you squeeze the two pieces together it ends up getting in the hair. So it takes a little bit of time to get that Okay, now I've got the bottom buttered. 
the way I find that it's easiest is to direct it right up together and then you squeeze close my glue up so it doesn't dry out now this glue sets in no time at all uh, you could literally put this in the washing machine in about 20 minutes and it's fine now where the two pieces join I'm gonna to have to cut away the the excess on the top side again use a razor blade I'm gonna carve at this a little bit get through my leather and then pull it away okay so now we've got the double bunny tail I'm gonna let the glue dry for just a couple of minutes here and I'll be right back okay I've taken a few minutes and let this dry just a touch now what I'm gonna do the reason that I whip finished is because I'm gonna run over it with my poodle brush the reason uh, you use these things is to get that that hair you know all straight and square uh, fluffs it all up makes it look a lot better and also if you've accidentally glued a little bit of your uh, hair down with the with the tear mender it'll pull all of that out I'm gonna just run a couple of brush strokes on both sides and I think you're gonna be able to see what I'm talking about just by running that wire poodle brush down you can actually see where the two pieces of leather have attached together okay I'm going to bring my vise back in and lock it and I'm going to bring my thread back in again I'm using the uh, 3 out Flymaster Plus and right where that transition is in my jam knot up here I'm going to build a little bit of a ramp put a little extra thread on there um, just helps out when you're doing the uh, transition with the uh, cross-cut rabbit okay that's all done next I'm going to bring in in this particular case I'm bringing in a nice tan or brown cross cut. Now you could dub this stuff I suppose um, and cut away the leather but I'm gonna go ahead and tie that in right up here in the front or in the back I should say. Get that locked down I'm going to bring my thread, a thread all the way up to the front. Now, I'm going to use a little bit of uh, crazy glue, Zappa Gap, the brushable stuff, and I'm going to lay some right in on the thread, Oop. the thread, etc. And then we're going to palmer this. And I'm palmering the wrong direction. How about that? No, I'm not. I'm going to get about four good wraps on it. Okay. Thread to the hook. I. I'm just going to capture the leather with my thread. You can do this if it's thin.
and then I'm going to bring my thread through the leather. and trim away the excess. Okay, now all we have to do is build the head. And this is the monotonous part. I usually start with my six aught or my three aught thread and really the only way you can get a really good smooth head is switch over to the thin stuff the six aught I'm going to whip finish this three aught Okay, now for the three odd or six odd. Get her started. And like I say, this is the monotonous bit. I want to build a nice round head. And most of this is just. Wrap, 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 wrap. And when you think you're getting pretty close, we finish the six on. a little bit of uh, UV epoxy and heat it up a little bit with my light Okay, so there is an example of a two-odd double bunny tarpon fly. Pretty simple stuff. Try it for yourself. Thanks. <laughs>